Anna Tikea is, 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 is convinced that she is a robot. She knows she's not a real person. What we do is we help our clients, normally larger organizations and companies, with optimizing their customer service. We're using uh, what is called natural language processing technology, which is different methods to understand mainly written, written but questions like text. You cannot have an interactive assistant without personality, because then it is a very boring, a very rude personality. Okay? So what we do as part of the project is to develop the personality. It's, it's quite, quite interesting. We create life. This assistant, should it be a real person or not? Should it look like a real person or not? And if it looks like a real person, should it know it's a real person or should it know it's a robot? And then we have the Anna at, uh, in England and in Germany is a blonde much more blonde, uh, Swedish, more sort of sexy looking, and like that. And when we show that, Anna, to, to Spain or, or the States, I think it's, oh, cannot have that, it's too, it's too sexy. And we saw a number of occasions where, where she has not been able to help the, the, the user, and the user has been really upset and said, you stupid idiot, you can't help me at all, you know, we know worse than that. And Sarah's response is that, well, I'm so sorry that I'm not able to help you, but I think that kind of language is a little bit too much. Yeah. And then we can see the user, oh, I'm, I'm so sorry, I really didn't mean that. And they're getting confused and are not really sure if it's real or not. Yeah. Most of the people are here because here is where we have what we call the knowledge factory. We are also now going to build up our main uh, technical development center in Barcelona. Different light, uh, the smell of sea. and. It's, I think that's a complete luxury of having that in a big city like Barcelona. The most important factor for innovation is, is to have a great variety of people. And if a city is capable of attracting people and professionals from a lot of different backgrounds, a lot of different nationalities, a lot of different races, religions, what the age is, whatever, that in itself is creating innovation. Thank you, YouTube. Bye-bye.